Hi everyone, this is Anindita Paulus and today's video is about manifestation and the law of attraction. I feel like the law of attraction is a very misunderstood law and a lot of people think that they need to learn about the law of attraction so they can start using the law of attraction in their lives when it is kind of like saying that I need to learn about gravity so I can start using gravity in my life because whether you learn about gravity or not it is constantly working for you even if you don't know anything about it if I jump from this building I am going to fall no matter how many times I try it's not like gravity is gonna have a technical glitch one day it is constantly working without any glitches and same about the law of attraction too there are no glitches it is constantly working for you anyways and you are constantly attracting to yourself everything that you want so then the natural question would be that why don't I already have all the things that I want on my you know in my goals list or you know my dream job my dream man or the dream vacation or the money that I want the health that I want the weight that I want if I'm already constantly attracting it to myself then why don't I already have it that is the next logical question that you might wonder and that is because you are not just attracting the things that you want but you are also attracting the things that you don't want and this happens because we are often living our lives on autopilot or mindlessly we're not being mindful about what our point of attraction is moment by moment because every single thought that you hold in your mind is your point of attraction every single thing that you focus your attention on is your point of attraction and that is why we end up getting so many things in our life that we don't want we also have a lot of things in our life that we do want based on you know our, our focus you know just if you start becoming more mindful about what percentage of time are you focusing on the things that you do want and what percentage of time are you focusing on complaining about the things which are missing in your life then you'll start seeing a very close correlation between the two often what happens is we think that we are focusing on what we want when in reality we are focusing on the very absence of it for instance if I keep on telling that oh I really need to save more money or I really need to lose weight or I really need to do whatever it is that you really need to do but what you're focusing on is actually the absence of the money or I really need to make more money so I can pay more bills pay all my bills but what you are focusing on or your feelings are indicating that you're actually focusing on the lack of having enough money to pay your bills or you know you don't really trust that you will be able to save up enough money for whatever it is that you need it for that's why mindfulness is so important that once you start becoming mindful about what your thoughts are and what the underlying intention it doesn't matter what words you are using but you need to become more mindful about the underlying intention or the feelings that those words are generating often people try using affirmations to create the life that they want or to attract whatever it is that they want but they don't work because every single time they are using an affirmation that I am healthy, wealthy and wise let's just say that that is one of the affirmations you are using but you don't end up attracting the health and the wealth and the wisdom that you want is it because every single time you are using those affirmations there is no real emotion that is being generated because if the emotion is not there then the affirmation is not working for you if the emotions are there then you need to be careful about what emotions are being generated let's say you are saying that I am attracting my dream job but every single time you are writing that affirmation or using that affirmation you have this feeling of lack the thoughts that come to your mind is I don't know when that will happen I have been trying for such a long time I have been using this affirmation for such a long time but it didn't happen yet I do hope it happens but I'm not sure when it will happen I'm not sure if this affirmation is going to work if those are the emotions which are being triggered by your affirmation or not just affirmation 
Sometimes people use vision boards and you know goal setting with visualization and creating a vision board. For some people, vision boards work excellently, while for others it doesn't. And the only reason it doesn't work for some people is because if you have certain things on your vision board and every single time you look at the vision board, instead of feeling happy and grateful or exhilarated about those goals, if every single time you look at your vision board and it makes you feel the lack of not having those goals in your life, then guess what? You are better off throwing that vision board away because that vision board is not serving you any purpose. So at the end of the day, what really matters is you don't really have to learn how to attract, but what you have to learn though is how to let go of all the beliefs that you have picked up over the years. Because the reason we don't end up attracting to ourselves all the things that we want, even though the law of attraction is working for every single person equally, it is not judgmental, it is not discriminating. It is not saying that, okay, you have been a really good girl today, I'll work better for you. But it is not saying like that to anybody, that you have not been a good person, I'm not going to be granting you your wishes. The law of attraction is extremely fair and it is equal. It is working equally for every single person. So the only reason some people end up attracting what they want and some people don't is because some people are attracting by default, they're sleepwalking through life, they're not being mindful about their own thoughts. And even though they think they're using, they're trying to use the law of attraction in their life by doing affirmations and visualizations and goal setting and you know creating a vision board, but they are not being mindful that every single time they're using the affirmation or the vision board or writing down their goals, the feelings that those goals or those vision boards or the images on the vision boards, the feelings that they are generating are not positive emotions and so they are not working for them. So what we do need to learn is how to let go of all the false programming that we have learned from our environment because the only reason we have to work so hard at goal setting and visualization and you know writing down affirmations and you know thinking that I need to learn how to use the law of attraction in my favor is because we have picked up so many false ideas and beliefs that are not serving us and we are holding on to those ideas and beliefs. If all that we do, instead of even trying so hard to you know, do goal settings and visualizations and affirmations and trying to use the law of attraction in your favor, even if you don't do any of that stuff, if all that you learn to do is just letting go of all the ideas and beliefs and programs that you have picked up from the society, from your family, maybe from school, college, from watching television shows, from reading the newspapers. I don't care from where you have picked them up. But if all that you do is just to let go of those false ideas and beliefs, then every single thing that you wish for will come instantaneously. And if not instantaneously, extremely easily and effortlessly. So that was my little tip for today about using law of attraction for manifestation. You don't really have to use law of attraction. Law of attraction is constantly working for you. All you really need is become more mindful about your thoughts and your emotions and become more mindful about what you're talking about to, with your friends, with your colleagues, with your family, with your relatives. Every single topic of discussion is a point of attraction. The more aware you become about that, the better you get at managing your manifestation, at guiding your manifestation towards your desired outcome. Because guess what happens when you are talking to a friend for an hour complaining about something at your work that did not go the way you wanted it to go? That is becoming your point of attraction. And you are going to be attracting more of those situations or situations which are a vibrational match to whatever feeling that that particular circumstance or that particular discussion is uh, generating in you. So all you really need to do is becoming more aware of your feelings and your thoughts and your point of attraction. You don't really have to work so hard to make the law of attraction work for you so you could attract all the things that you desire in your life. You really need to work first and foremost on letting go of all the things which are not working for you. Because when you let go of all the useless crap, then guess what? At your core, you're already a very high vibrational being. And the only reason you don't realize that is because 
is like this bright bulb that has been made murky by a lot of mud. So the mud here represents all the false ideas and beliefs that you have accumulated about yourself. But as you start letting go of those false ideas and beliefs, then you start cleaning up that light bulb. And once you have let go of all those false beliefs and programming, then this light bulb shines really bright and everything that you desire for your life just comes effortlessly. So that was my little tip for today. Leave your comment and please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed watching this video and if you want to be updated about my upcoming videos. Bye for now.